Oh, Kevin Harvick. Oh, Kevin Harvick. Great job, Kevin Harvick. Great job. Great job, Kevin Harvick. You probably ruined the truck series. What's up, guys? My name's Ian. Welcome to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. I never expected to make this video. Originally, I was going to do a movie racing review about the movie called Six Pack that was made in 1982. Good movie. I had a good day watching that movie. And after I saw that movie, I checked on Facebook. There were more news about the bounty. Kevin Harvick's idea about beating Kyle Busch for $100,000 for Cup Guys only. Before I get to that, the recent news, I'll tell you what's been going on in case you don't know what's going on. I don't blame you if you don't. So, Kyle Busch won yet another truck race last Friday at Las Vegas. Don't get me wrong, folks. Kyle Busch is one of my favorite cup drivers. If you guys know me, I am not a fan of cup guys in the lower series. Last year, there were not lots, and I wasn't as bothered by it. Still a good season for both trucks and Xfinity. I'm going off topic. So after Kyle Busch won the truck race Friday... Kevin Harvey goes on Twitter the next morning. He's like, hey, are you tired of Kyle Busch racing in that truck series? Well, I know how you can stop him from racing there. Let's have more cup guys to beat Kyle Busch for $100,000. And I know what you guys are thinking. Ian, what seems to be the problem? What is your problem about it? My problem is that Kevin Harvick is having more Cub guys in the Laura series. He's having more leeches. As the leeches died down, you know, like not a lot of Cub guys racing Laura series, not a lot of races. Hey, that's fine. At least it's helping out the re the regulars if they want to reach to the top and stuff. And sponsors and all that good stuff. That jazz. But you want to know what Kevin Harvick did? He brings back the leeches. Yay. Kevin Harvick, why must you have Twitter? Why did you do that? So what the, my problem is that Kevin Harvick came up with this idea only for Cub guys. In a truck series. To, to do that in a truck series. And the problem is that they're making the truck regulars, veterans, truck veterans, truck rookies, truck, truck young stars, etc. Irrelevant. He made, he's making the truck regulars irrelevant. This is only for cup guys to beat Kyle Busch. What about the truck regulars if they beat Kyle Busch? Fuck them. They don't deserve $100,000 because they're not cup guys. Kevin Harvick's a fucking moron sometimes, honestly. Did you did he not think that through? It's called the truck series, not the NASCAR Gander RV truck NASCAR Gander RV Outdoors Truck Cup Series. Holy shit, what a what a tongue twist. Such words out of my mouth. All that good shit. Last time I remember, I thought this was the truck series, not the trucks cup series. I wrote a fucking moron for coming up with that idea. I'm mainly annoyed about that because he just made the truck series irrelevant. And I'm more annoyed about it because everybody knows how the NASCAR fan base is. Everyone fighting like the war zone every damn day in the comment section, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, or Twitter. But I don't have, I don't use Twitter anymore, so I don't care. My problem with the fan base about the situation is that they can get upset about Kyle Busch racing Lord Street, but 
if you're another cup guy not named Kyle Busch in the lower racing in the lower series, that's okay for them apparently. That doesn't make any sense. Like they did their time a long time ago, and some just got out of the lower series to go to cup, or some got in the cup series a few years ago, or whatnot. But it's okay as long as your name is not Kyle Busch, am I right? Woo! Shit doesn't make any sense. Honestly, about <coughs> Chase Elliott in the truck race at Atlanta, honestly, I was like, yeah, whatever. But what annoyed me the most is Larson in the truck series. Why? I know what you guys are thinking. Ian, if you're not bothered about Kyle Busch in the lore series, why are you bothered about Kyle Larson the most? I'm annoyed about any cup driver in the lore series regardless, even if it's Jimmy Johnson. Even if it's Ryan Blaney. Even if it's my favorite drivers. Whatever. My problem is in 2018. Let me refresh your memory. 2018, Cowboys only won one Xfinity race, which is at Pocono. Larson won four. He dominated the Xfinity series, whether Kyle Busch either had problems or what, or when he's not racing in Xfinity in 2018. And, of course, people are fine with Larson, but not Busch, because they're going to pull the, well, unlike Kyle Busch, these other Cub drivers don't race in a lower series like they used to card. They always pull that card. So what? In my opinion, so what? They're still Cub guys. Racing in the lower series, and I get that they're there to help out the 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 regulars. You know the saying, "You gotta be the best." If you want to be the best, you gotta beat the best. You know, like beat the regulars, all that cool stuff. As much as I hated the Cup guys like winning there in the lower series, I can understand the reason behind it. It's just. It's just the problem is my problem is Hurric made the truck regulars irrelevant and some people say oh But they're not good anyway. Oh Yeah, they have the right to be irrelevant because they don't beat Kyle Busch. That's the problem. They're irrelevant because we got cup guys taking all the wins and and sometimes some regulars in the lower series do not get the spotlight because cup guys steal the show Boy, oh boy. Oh, Kevin Harvick, you dumb fuck. You probably ruined the truck series, and I appreciate that so much. So, do I find this, do I find this uh, Harvick's idea as a gimmick? I wouldn't say it's a gimmick. It's more of a stupid idea, especially, well, not a stupid idea in particular, but it's still stupid at the same time because he made the 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 truck series drivers regular drivers irrelevant that means even more spotlight for the cup guys who are trying to beat kyle bush for a hundred k you know it'd be more fun if if it was for truck regulars not cup, mo not more cup drivers right kevin you want the future stars especially Haley deegan why don't they get why don't they get the 100k if they beat kyle bush or heck any any other cub driver if they race in lore series i think that would be more fun and probably a good marketing decision i my opinion just to let you guys know but no it's only for cub drivers what if the regulars beat kyle bush or other cub guys oh who gives a fuck they're not in the cub series <sighs> Like, coming into the season of Truck Series, we had it bad. What am I talking about? T adding two more playoff spots for the Trucks playoffs. Seriously, Matt Crafton broke the playoff format last year by not having championship stats, being irrelevant, and guess what? He won the championship because of the broken fucking format. And just to let you guys know, I'm a Matt Crafton fan. I felt more disgusted. Then happy about him winning the championship. I knew he didn't deserve it. But hell. Um, he even hates the playoffs. He even said it like after Michigan. But that's a story for another day. Where. 
Like, seriously. I knew, everyone knows that the Truck Series is the best NASCAR Top 3 Series ever. The racing is incredible. It's exciting, amazing. Like, you guys remember my original channel, ENH48, when I did, like, a bunch of reaction videos? And some of you guys knew me as, like, despising Cup Guys Lord Series. That is true. However, <clears throat> I, excuse me, I remember last fall when NASCAR decided to shrink down the Xfinity Series to, hang on, to shrink down cup race limits to five for Xfinity Series. Honestly, that got me excited for the Xfinity Series of this year. Why can't trucks shrink it down to three? Well, that make more sense. I think that'll be more fun still. And then we have the truck playoff extension. And then we got Kevin Harvey coming up with the stupid idea of, for making cup drivers beat Cabo Bush, but make the truck series regulars irrelevant. Classic NASCAR always making me depressed. Arc of Phoenix, where you at? IndyCar! Where are you at March 15th? Hurry up, I need some IndyCar in my life because that makes me happy. Formula One, where are you at? Sebring, 12 hours, where are you at? <sighs> my God. So just let, just let you guys know, this is just my personal opinion. If you guys like the idea, that's fine. It's your opinion and that's okay. I don't judge people's opinions like people do on social media. All I do is just... Constantly spam my problems. Like, I do apologize for annoying people, but I'm not apologizing for saying the same thing all the time because NASCAR is a problem. And they're slowly fixing it, but NASCAR will make stupid decisions, even if NASCAR's in the fix. So, yeah. Kevin Harvick basically fucked up the truck series, and. Yeah. Thanks for making the truck series regulars. Irrelevant, Kevin. Fuck them, right? Yeah. Yeah. How to solve the, the Kyle Bush problem in the truck series? Should we um make the regulars, I don't know, motivate them more to beat them by, I don't know, giving them that price of a hundred K or something like that. I don't know. Nope, let's just add more cup guys, see if they can beat Kyle Bush. What if the regulars beat Kyle Bush? Who gives a fuck? According to Kevin Harvick. Harvick's not the smartest uh, when he came up with that idea. Whatever. So I would, I would like to hear your opinions about this. And I'm not going to be surprised if I get bashed on. Because that's what NASCAR fans do nowadays. They bash on each other. Because the NASCAR fan base, they always do a war zone every fucking day in the comment sections. It's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. I don't use Twitter anymore, so I don't even give a fuck what's going on. So, yeah. That is all. I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Just follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm Impress25, and Impress48 underscore IT. Like my Facebook page, Ian Asker 40 Films. Don't forget, to turn on, don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Next video, I'll be doing a movie review about Six Pack. Good movie, by the way. It's on YouTube. All that good shit. And fuck Kevin Harvick. You ruined the truck series. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for supporting E Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.